Hello and welcome to The Gaggle, where we challenge and, if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samuel Welly. With me today, of course, is uh, co-founder of The Gaggle, uh, Peter Lavelle. So, um, Peter, um, uh, last week, um, the United Kingdom said that they're going to be uh, sending um, shells with depleted uranium for um, for the for the, the tanks that they've also sent to uh, Ukraine. And um, uh, Russia announced that it would uh, make a, a response to this. And it did indeed make a response that uh, over the weekend, uh, President Putin announced that um, he would be stationing um, tactical nuclear weapons in uh, Belarus uh, as per an agreement between Russia and Belarus. The uh, missiles would of course be under uh, Russia's control, and but they would be uh, stored there. And as uh, Putin pointed out, this is no different from what the United States does and has been doing really <laughs> throughout Decades. the Cold War. Yeah, exactly. It started in the Cold War and it, you know, it, and nothing changed. And, um, you know, in countries in Belgium, in Italy, uh, in Turkey, in Holland, um, United States stores um, uh, nuclear weapons. Now, um, you know, and in Germany, of course, the when Putin made this comment, naturally the response in, in, uh, in NATO was absolute outrage, indignation. Well, this is horrific. Um, and the German foreign ministry said that this point about uh, this, uh, the apparent uh, similarity between what Americans been doing and what Russia has been doing is completely misleading. Uh, and then you uh, think, and in what how? way is it misleading? <laughs> how? 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 But, you know, no one ever explains these things. It's like saying, you know, okay. this is, somebody's like a story has been debunked. Uh, you know, okay, well, say, I mean, Katnick, okay, the nuclear weapons that America has on German soil is controlled by Americans. Yes, right. So these same Russian ones in Belarus will be controlled by Russians. Right. What's the exactly. difference? No difference whatsoever. None. Um, and but the, the but the presentation is that somehow this is uh, this is, is breaking some fundamental agreement. So again, uh, the NATO spokeswoman uh, came out with a statement today. Again, you know, no similarity at all because you know NATO. You know, we are thoroughly re reliant partners. We stick to our word, unlike Russia, which uh, breaks its uh, word and breaks its agreement as it did recently with New Start. Uh, of course, Russia did not break its agree the agreement on New Start, and of course, this Na the spoke spokeswoman for NATO kind of forgot all about all the arms control treaties from which uh, you know the West has walked away from. But now uh, Ukraine is demanding a United Nations Security Council uh, debate on this horrific, shocking event that uh, Russia will be placing uh, nuclear missiles on Belarusian soil. <laughs> So the spokesperson, the NATO spokeswoman, okay, it, it's very interesting. She throws a little hissy fit because the Russians have suspended and distanced themselves from the current START um, uh, agreement. It's not 100% dead, but I mean, it, it's in a deep freeze right now. Right. They're all upset, George, because it's important to them. Yes. Okay, yes. so, but Russia would like to have a debate about banning NATO expansion yes. closer to Russia's Borders. Can, can, can we have a discussion about that in right. the United Nations Security Council? Right. No, of course not. Right. That's because it's not what the West wants. Okay. okay. They That's only right. they throw a fit about, you know, how dare you? Right. Right. But they don't right. mention the fact that they're 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 um uh the the, the leader of uh, of of the block in Washington right. does it all the time, has been doing it for 60 years, right? 70 years. Right. But no, that's that's exactly right, and that's that's the 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 key point here, which is that's important to you. You know, you you want this agreement uh, in place um, because you know, Russia has taken a lead uh, in with hypersonic weapons, so you 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 want everything to be frozen, and so you're very annoyed about this. Um, but the things that Russia wanted to discuss, I mean, obviously NATO expansion, but of course you had. The ABM treaty. That's been a very sore point uh, with the Russians that that America walked away well, now twenty years ago and has been basically building up a 
global ballistic missile defense system, which Russia is very concerned about because it'll give America a first strike capability, something that uh, Russians repeatedly bring up. And the Americans say, ah, we don't really want to talk about it. Just like we don't want to talk about uh, NATO expansion. So that's that's the point. You know, you, you oh, just, we, we, yeah. we can we could have some meetings, you know, we could have dialogue, you know, we can right. or NATO, we can have intensive dialogue. What is right. what does that mean? Okay. Right. Right. Does it mean you talk louder? <laughs> I don't right. know. Okay. Yeah. But I mean it, it, it's always one one-sided. Um Russia is not violating and violating any uh, arms agreements, non-proliferation non agreement, nothing of the sort. As a matter of fact, I'll tell everybody here: George and I equivocated about even doing this because it's a non-story. It's a non-story. This is invented from whole cloth again. Yeah. Hissy fits all over the place. Ukraine is demanding United Nations Security Council immediately. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm sorry, Ukraine, but I mean, you, you do border Russia, okay? Right, right. <laughs> you know, and so so does Belarus, okay? Right, right. And we have a, a greater and greater integration of the American Russian and and Russian militaries, okay? So I don't see how anything has changed. No, it's just so you can um, start showboating again, right, okay? Right. Yes. And, yes. and and demanding the West to um, do what you, you the Kiev regime wants. Okay, so yes. this is much to do about nothing. As a matter of fact, it was reported here in the Russian media. It was just kind of a you know a blip. You know, I mean, it, 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 the hysteria that I woke up to was like, what? I mean, arms control people should say, calm down. It doesn't really mean anything. Right. But right. they won't. That's right. That's right. Yeah, um, it, 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 that, that's exactly right. And it goes very funny because. Russia stationing um, its missiles in Belarus, which not only is it uh, uh, exactly what the United States does, but it, it highlights the whole issue of, you know, the, the vaunted Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons because it had all these promises it gave up its nuclear weapons. But of course, that's all it was. I mean, in the, so in the Soviet era, it was one country, one state. And uh, and that's where um, the the Soviet military kept its um, nuclear missile. Now, because of the chaotic collapse of the uh, Soviet Union, that was a problem that should have been addressed at the time of the collapse. Which is, you know, we got to remove um, these uh, these missiles from where they were. But the whole idea that well, now you're a nuclear uh, power. Of course, Ukraine was never a nuclear power just because it was on Ukrainian soil. Any more than Belarus is now a nuclear power because there will be uh, missiles on. And, and no Belarus more so than the, the Netherlands isn't a nuclear power. Of course not. Or Belgium or Germany. Or Belgium or Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you know, these ridiculous myths that people keep spinning and at the highest level, Ukraine never was a nuclear power. All those weapons and storage on, on site were controlled then at the, by the Soviet authorities and then by Russia. The Russian, okay? exactly. They never passed the keys no. to the Ukrainians. No. Not one. And they even no. didn't even think about it. No. Okay. No. No, that's right. That's right. And and the same was I mean, you know, with the, in Kazakhstan, they kept the, they had missiles in Kazakhstan. They were saying the same thing was you know, it's like saying well, Kazakhstan was not a nuclear power. Was Kazakhstan wasn't a nuclear power. It was the, the same kind of thing. And but of course, again, since the Soviet Union was at least one state, um, the Soviet Union never uh, stored its missiles in other countries, unlike the United States. <laughs> so even you remember the the famous. SS-20s, which caused us so much hysteria in the 1970s and 80s, the SS-20s were never stored in Eastern Europe. I mean, they, it was always on the territory of the Soviet Union. They never moved these nuclear missiles uh, into uh, Eastern Europe, <laughs> so, so, unlike the United States, which has always been keeping its uh, uh, nuclear weapons uh, all over the place. This is just fear mongering. That's all it is. It's just yes. fear mongering. Uh, you know, ter terrifying the public. Okay. Um, I I stand by my proposition that if, if any those weapons were ever introduced to, into theater in Ukraine, it would be NATO doing it. In NATO, yeah. well, uh, the United I States. I absolutely agree. In, in Ukraine, yeah. Russia gains nothing, nothing from it. Nothing. Nothing. No, that, that that's right. And that's what's all right. Right. Yeah, no, just one one point, which is that the um, the issue of the depleted uranium, which both the British and the Americans will say, no, no harm there, perfectly healthy stuff. You know, you know, I you know, I I put it into my whiskey and soda. You know, the, with the depleted uranium, but it it goes to show they really don't care very much about 
Ukrainian soil, because if this depleted uranium is used, it'll be used in Ukraine and it's going to affect Ukrainians and it'll affect the soil in Ukraine. But hey. <laughs> I, I, I find it just breathtaking, George, that you know they will introduce it there. They would never introduce it on their own soil, yeah. okay? But they will introduce it. it. It it just shows such a benign neglect of, yeah. of, of their, what their moral compass tells them. Okay, right. um, again, you know, I've said this many times here. I, I how historians will explain why Ukraine sacrificed itself for NATO? It, you know, it's just it, it's just yeah. beyond logic, and that's what we yeah. have right now. Yeah. We have an elite that is fat and happy and comfortable. Yep. And when the moment is convenient for them, if they can avoid being slaughtered by their own outer circle, they'll be taken care of, okay, <laughs> in a nice, warm, hot place right. where there's no extradition. Right, yeah, no, that's right, that's right. All right, uh, George and I felt compelled to report on this non-story because of all the fear-mongering that it has generated from people that have no idea of what they're talking about. But then that's par for the course. That's right. All right, everybody, this yeah. is The Gaggle with Peter and George. We're on local, so please go to thegaggle.locals.com. Visit our store, and this time tomorrow, yes, George is back. In, yeah, in exactly. His, back. And he's at the top of his game. At the top of my game. So please join me. My live stream on locals, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Come with comments, criticisms, and suggestions. And don't forget Little Buddy, because Little Buddy um, you know, is also trying to up his game and is raising all kinds of very awkward issues that we don't really have the answers to about the, the tip jar and where all the tips went and why is it empty and you know we, we, we can't answer him so uh, <laughs> in order to sort of calm him down please if you have a few bob in your pocket whip him out dunk him in his tip jar you know then you know, that'll uh you know calm him down a little bit we're very grateful for all of your help and friendship and support the more you're able to donate the more of these videos we can make, the more we can improve the technology. And above all, maybe we can cheer him up a little bit. So remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.